I now call upon Dr. Catherine Sutherland, Associate Dean, Faculty of Arts, to present to you our 2008 Thompson Rivers University Honorary Degree recipient for this convocation ceremony. Kate. Thank you, Mark. I call upon Bill Bissett to stand for the reading of the citation. Bill Bissett is a pioneer of sound poetry in Canada. Through controversy, poverty, and even severe injury, Bill Bissett has never veered from his commitment to anti-conventional style, to raising awareness about the human condition, and particularly social and environmental issues. His work incorporates humor, passion, political commentary, and a sense of wonder. Once described as post-beatnik but pre-hippie in the early 1960s, <laughs> Bissett established <laughs> Bissett established Blue Ointment Press in Vancouver, an alternative publishing house that existed for 20 years and was among the first in Canada to disseminate the poetry of writers like Margaret Atwood, Michael Ondaatje, and B.P. Nickel, in addition to 200 others, including Mar Martina Clinton, Lance Farrell, Maxine Gad, and D.A. Levy. Bissett is best known for his unique orthography, for incorporating visual elements into his printed poetry, and especially those of us at TRU know from experience for his performances of his concrete sound poetry. He incorporates sound effects, chanting, and barefoot dancing during his poetry reading, and it is truly something to behold. His career is most closely associated initially with Vancouver, though he is presently based in Toronto. He's been writer in residence at the University of New Brunswick, Western Ontario University. For many years, he's lived part-time in the Caribou region of British Columbia, and this is the subject of many of his poems. Bissett has been awarded the 1990-91 Milton Acorn People's Poetry Award and the Dorothy Livesey BC Book Award for poetry in both 1993 and 2003. In 2006, Nightwood Editions published Radiant Dance of Being, a poetic tribute to Bissett with contributors sorry, contributions from more than 80 writers, including again Margaret Atwood and also Leonard Cohen. Last year, Bissett was awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award from the BC Book World. He has also had large painting exhibits, many audio recordings, and was the lyricist and vocalist in Luddites, the Ontario band. He has ties to Kamloops as well, as many of you know. He has worked for a decade with the Young Authors Conference held each year on TRU's campus in collaboration with the school district. He's published a poem about Kamloops in the Small Cities book. And his public readings at Caribou College and later UCC were wildly popular, and I'm tempted to say in just plain wild, <laughs> and wonderful. And indeed, he may have the honor of having given more readings at this institution than any other writer. He has also been extremely generous to our students with his time over the years. It's clear that Bissett is a charismatic performer who makes his work accessible to everyone. In recognizing Bill Bissett today, Thompson Rivers University acknowledges the importance of poetry and art in our intellectual, cultural, but also political and social lives. The importance of Bill Bissett's contributions to education and to mentorship on our campus and in our community. It gives Thompson Rivers University great pleasure to confer the degree of Doctor of Letters, Honoris Causa, upon Bill Bissett.
I now invite Dr. Bill Bissett to say and perhaps perform a few words of acknowledgement. <laughs> 